Grand Rising, everyone. I am here to keep my promise to recall the day that Yah's creation, Sabbath, will fall on for the third biblical lunar month, Sivan. 6011, as we know that the new moon was on Wednesday, the 8th of February. It was storming at that time, and so I was unable to record the dates for us. But I just want to repeat that your Sabbath is not on Saturday like we have been taught for hundreds of years. The false shepherd have surely led us astray and have really lied to us about everything. But our ancestors, our Yashalite ancestors, I no longer want to say Hebrew ancestors because I have learned that we were called that by those who enslave us. But Yah has given his Sabbath to his people. Israel, and um, like Solomon, King Solomon, who told us that he was building a house for Yahuwah, for the name of Yahuwah, so that sweet incense could be burned before him for the morning and the evening timid, for the Sabbaths and for the new moons and for the yearly appointed feast. And so our ancestors celebrated new moons, Sabbaths and the appointed feast but since Rome has taken over, and since uh, before Rome has taken over, our ancestors disobeyed and rejected the laws of Yahuwah and caused his Sabbaths and his new moons and the appointed Pointed feast to be forgotten. That is recorded in Hosea 2, verse 11. So, nothing that took place, you know, happened as an accident. This was done because Yahuwah has. said that would be done. And I'm just going to show us the day that your Sabbath falls on. This was the new moon, as you may see. And so seven days from the new moon will be your Sabbath. So the new moon was on May 8th. And seven days from the new moon, will be the Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon, which is the 15th of May on Rome's Gregorian calendar and Sivan 8 on Yah's creation calendar, followed by the Sabbath of the 
full moon, which is 7 15, 6011, and uh, May 22nd, 24, and Rome's Gregorian calendar, followed by the Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon, which is on May 29th and 7 22nd on Yah's creation calendar. Followed. Let me turn it over. Let's see. Followed by the Sabbath, the fourth and last Sabbath, the Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon, which will be June and June. 5th, 2024, and uh, 7th, 29th. Wednesday, June 5th, 2024, on Rome's Gregorian calendar, and 7th, 29th, 6011, on Rome's calendar. So here is what I have promised to do because Rome has changed times and laws and Rome wants your Sabbath to be kept a secret. And so Rome has been doing everything in our power to keep the Sabbath hidden from us. But let's remember that we are Yah's chosen seed. And the Sabbath is given to us as a sign of sanctification. The promise of Yah is to cause us to remember him and to remember his Sabbaths while we are in our captivity. And that is what Yah is doing right now. Because let's say 10 years ago, no one, well, maybe a few, but I personally did not know that Yah's Sabbath was determined by each new moon. And so, as I say, all that is all that is true are hidden by Rome, and it is Rome's intention to cause your Sabbaths and his sign, your Sabbaths and his feast days to be forgotten. But I'm going to read a message from from Jer Jeremiah 22. 32 verses 37 to 41 to us. Yah is telling us, he said, Behold, I will gather them, speaking about us is chosen, from all the countries where he has driven us in anger and in fury. And in his great wrath, he said, I will bring them back to this place and I will cause them to live in safety. Then they will be my people and I will be their Elohim. Then I will give them a new heart and a new way so they may reverence me forever for their benefit and for the benefit of their children 
I will renew the everlasting covenant with them. I will not turn them away from doing righteousness for them. And I will inspire them to reverence me so they will not turn away from me. Yes, so Yah is now awakening us. Let us be awakened and let us know that to be obedient is for our benefit and for the benefit of our children. So please like this video, please share it. And um, I see that Rome soldiers are removing your likes, but continue to do so. And know that anything that is good for us, this Rome system doesn't want us to have it or to even know about it. So let us be willing and obedient so that we may eat the good of the land. And just bear in mind that your Sabbath falls on Wednesdays for four weeks on Rome's Gregorian calendar. So let's be willing and obedient so that we may eat the good of the land. Shalom. Again, please like, subscribe, and share so that the world will be enlightened with the glory of Yah and that righteousness will cover the earth like the water covers the sea. Shalom.